Okay, so Arma has come out with a basically entirely new chassis. They're coming out with a granite version and a phase on uh, basically a mid motor instead of uh, like with the granite that's out now that has the motor hanging out the back and the Raider. It's actually a mid motor setup, and let's see if we can get to a picture of that. Well, first thing, as I get to more pictures, you're going to see that these batteries right here are used. These batteries right here. They're lithium ion 18650. A lot of people are saying, okay, AA batteries. That makes no sense. Why would they put AA batteries in a one tenth scale vehicle? So let's go back. So it's not just going to be that. Talk about RC action themselves. It's actually called the Arma Voltage Series. And they're talking about it a lot right here. But stock is going to come with a, a, this tray right here. That you, it, It'll come with two of these batteries, but you can run up to six. It'll come with the batteries. Sorry about all the ads. It'll come with the charger, the batteries, and uh, the... So here it is. You can run a 2S battery. But the ESC, which is right here, it's all in one unit. You'll have the receiver in it. You can see the antenna right there. You have the receiver inside of it. You also have the servo that's connected to it. And you have the ESC with a motor. Uh, I'm sure it won't be hard to it won't be hard to put in a motor, but those AA batteries go into this tray, which has a Dean's connector. I'm sure you can change that out. Uh, personally, I like XT60 but you can actually see that the motor is a mid motor setup right here you can see it right in the back so it's right there instead of hanging out the back so especially with the granite you'll have a mid motor monster truck and of course I'll have the phase on version of it and uh, I've so far with the my uh, I've had the fury and the uh, wow what was it the fury and not the granite but the the buggy that they have darn it why can I not remember the name of that the Raider and it is just a three gear setup Others use a four gear setup. Uh, more that can break. Uh, hopefully they'll come out with metal gears for it because personally I found that uh, the input gear right here likes to break. The idler gear is usually fine. But yeah, it would be nice just to have that. And here you can see the contacts for the batteries. I'm not exactly sure how the batteries... Uh, it looks like you'll have them in parallel. So you have two batteries in parallel, and then another two batteries in parallel, then another two batteries. So as you add two more batteries, you're not going to get more power. You're simply going to get more runtime. So yeah, there's the granite voltage, and there's the phazon voltage, which is basically sort of looks like a trophy truck sort of setup interesting uh depending on the price i'll probably get one but i kept seeing people talking about i don't know what batteries these are and stuff like that uh, it's not that hard to figure out it's definitely not those are not double a batteries they are not going to put double a batteries in a one tenth scale vehicle and it even says if you go to arma's website they are 18650 lithium ion batteries the servo that comes with it is a good servo, decent, 
so people have said uh, I personally haven't had any problems with my servos that come stock and usually that's one of the first things I change out uh, it's you can see that the links they're plastic it's sort of halfway between toy grade and hobby grade uh, parts can be replaced but you're not going to be able to do a lot of camber caster or toe adjustment I mean maybe some caster with these right here moving some clips and that'll give you some caster but it's already raked back uh, to a point so you'll have probably about 15 degrees of negative caster but if you actually look at uh, go back to the granite I mean the uh, the granite whip, uh, the arma whips oh, excuse me come on don't care about the Italian yeah uh, I really like the Italian but there's a phase on voltage but if you click on it you can actually see it comes with a 540 size can a ATX 101 uh, transmitter lithium-ion 18650 comes with two batteries and a charger and D boots tires available in blue and green so pretty cool I think there's the transmitter I don't know if that's the uh, so that's a 70 ounce uh, 5 kilogram servo 60 degree transit time of 0.12 seconds at 6 volts this is what you're gonna get you're gonna get two batteries and a charger and then you can use two or four with two each of them in parallel or six with each of them in parallel every time you add two more you're gonna double your runtime you're also gonna make the vehicle a little more heavy or you can pull out that pack and throw in a 2S LiPo I personally think this is a really good idea because who doesn't know AA batteries? I mean, even if you're a kid just now getting into RC, AA batteries, I mean, 18650 is a little bit bigger. They're not going to be nearly as dangerous as uh, lithium LiPo batteries, lithium polymer. They're already the most uh, dangerous batteries. They're just, they're not very stable. They're completely unstable. And even if you spend $250 on a Maxamp battery, it's not going to be the greatest battery I've had people I I know friends I have a friend that does success speed runs all the time he's having to buy another max amp battery because this success 5,000 milliamp hour battery took a crap on him. so this will be safer for kids that are wanting to get into in it instead of a huge pack you just pull out the batteries put them in their charger charge them pop them back in like you would any other RC car and then go but they're not just double-a batteries they only have a about 20 C discharge so you're not going to get a very high discharge uh, looking at amperage rates so not really good for a brushless system possibly I mean I don't know I'll have to get one and actually go a little further but this has just been announced but it'll just be a lot easier to put these two in here charge them but that's a wall ward that's the only thing I don't like about those but it does have two lights you can see right there that'll tell you when they're done so sort of an iffy thing I mean this is a brand new thing to the market someone actually using 18650 batteries instead of I mean there have been people on eBay uh, not eBay YouTube put make some batteries out of these but no major company has done this yet you can actually see the connector comes out right here so that'll be nice but good idea uh, personally yeah I think it's a good idea especially for kids that want to get into it you don't have to worry about buying a charger and batteries it comes with two batteries and all you have to do is buy more batteries so it's 
a ready to run vehicle unlike a lot of ready to run vehicles this right here is your planetary diff it's not a uh, regular differential that uses spider gears this actually uses a planetary gear set and there's your it does use oil filled shocks it looks like it comes with a key to take everything apart and there's a uh, basically a cut in half cutaway view of everything and just looking at it, it looks like one two batteries and then so that's how it can run on two batteries and every time you add two more you're running them in parallel now you're not going to be running six batteries in series you're going to be running three sets of two in parallel so yeah that's pretty much it with the new stuff coming from Arma. Arma really come out with some new technology and also instead of this motor hanging out the back here you're gonna have better weight distribution and also with the batteries right here like with the Tesla vehicles it's gonna be right at the bottom of the chassis so a lower center of gravity uh, and also with the motor here when you go to turn there will be less weight out here so it'll be more nimble on his feet on them well wheels and yes I am doing this on a mobile device I didn't feel like getting out all my uh, computer and doing all this but let's just go through all the pictures it, it honestly looks like a really cool I just a really cool design really cool idea just have to see what the prices are, how much uh, new batteries are going to be. And I'm sure when you buy two more batteries, you'll get a charger with them. I mean, Arma has been really good, uh, even when some things didn't come on my Arma vehicle or they broke the first time running it on 2S. I mean, that's what I love about them, two-year limited warranty. I mean, with Traxxas, you get a one-year warranty and when I first got into RC I got my T-Max everything was great once the X-Max came out their warranty department just went to crap they were rude they didn't warranty things anymore they either wanted pictures or receipt back when I first got into RC they didn't care and they didn't know that I was brand new to RC they just knew I was brand new to theirs so water, water, waterproof ready to run that's your whole package right there so you got your transmitter, receiver, ESC, and servo. Basically everything in one little package. Then you got your servo up front. So, good idea. Yes, no. Only time will tell. Can these batteries withstand RC operation? I'm sure they will. People are calling them ARMA batteries. If you just read, I mean, they're 1500 milliamp hour batteries. So, every time you add two more so 1500 with two batteries 3000 with four uh 4500 milliamp hour with six so that's going to be the thing every time you add two more you'll get longer run times but like i said it's the price i mean how much is it going to cost to get two more batteries to go from two to four and then so far and so on and nice looking design and you can pull this out and put in a lipo once you graduate from these to actual lithium polymer batteries which like I said are more unstable more dangerous but give you a lot more power personally I'm more of a nitro person I just got another nitro today and I'll be posting that video but like I said only time will tell what do you think Comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace.